UFC Heavyweight Showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. To get us started Ladies with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's the Bruce Buffett. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Pohang, South Korea, Chico. And now to defeat his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? there with that punch, DC. Nice, yeah. nice. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. Uppercut to the head. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. And he's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Just out of range with that left hook. 
Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Big ball from Punch Land. Now he gets back in range. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big head kick lands. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Head kick blocked. Attempts the front kick there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Right hand upstairs. Hip over when he throws that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Ten seconds to go. Five minutes in the books. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and a nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. He's so committed to body punching. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Beautiful strike. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he gets telegraphed when the punch is coming. When he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Body shot, body shot. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. There's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attacks, young man. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Just misses there with the left. That right hand hurt him a little bit.
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Both fighters throwing heat now. Just a slip there. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Stop, stop. You won that last round. He was all over you, but you're better than that. Come on now, let's shake it out. Let's get back in there. Let's get back. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Beautiful body kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Able to check that kick as well. Nice punch, man. Just missed with the left there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just missing on the upper cut there. to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. What a punch. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. That was a nice strike. Oh, and now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beat his leg up. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Slips the punch. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go as our next round gets oh underway. God. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. 
Nice punch here. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Got clip with the right hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lands flush with that right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Starting to do some really... Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Blocks the shot. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Once you get to take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Under two minutes to go. Nice. What a body kick. Oh! Oh, that strike was so tight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut right Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Nice punch by Lee. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh, oh, beautiful counter jab upstairs for him there. He's got the reach advantage, and that certainly helped him in that exchange. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Lance with a right hand. Right thus far, how's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. How about those five minutes? All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. That last round's over. He took his best shots. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, too. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Kick to the body is blocked. Ooh, what a punch. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Big shots being landed on both sides here. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Straight right hand, no good. Nice kick there by Lee. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, big head kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. Oh! Whoa! He's out! He got him! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. 
Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on.